Good morning and welcome back to Elizabeth Eslo Homeschool Christian Mom. Thank you so much for joining me. I'm talking about an art project today using about symmetry. And so here is a half of a butterfly or a half of a moth you can use for this project. So what are you doing with half of a project? Here's another half. Now I got these pictures from a calendar. Calendars are great for using as art project ideas. This was something from National Wildlife. And let's see what else we have here. So you're just going to need a piece of paper that will take the whole picture that you're going to do and you're going to tape your half a picture of your butterfly wing to a piece of paper and I'm going to go up very close to the camera and you can see that my student has drawn the other half of the butterfly wing. Oh, here's another butterfly picture. You just cut it right in half. I used a paper cutter so you can get it exactly in half. So even if it's a little crooked on the paper, aha, now what is happening? We've taken some watercolor, which I like to use watercolor, but you could use tempera or acrylic either way. And we've started filling in the other half. It doesn't have to be ex exact, but you want it as exact as possible. It, your student will be happier ex exact as possible. And here's another example. So I'll go close so you can see the detail filling in the background. They come out very nicely. And you can talk about God's design in nature. And here's another example for you. So it's good watercolor technique. It's good to talk about symmetry, God's design in nature, how wonderful it is that we have all these beautiful things to look at and we can take them and say, oh, I can be creative too. God is creative. He's made me creative and I can be creative too. These are great gifts. They're not just, you're, you're teaching your child skills, just like math, you're teaching your child skills that they'll use later in life. And art is the same way. You're teaching your child skills that they'll use later in life for craft projects, art projects, and gifts for people. And it's very kind to have a homemade gift for people. And isn't it wonderful that God made us so creative? There's woodworking, macrame, fiber arts, knitting, crochet, watercolor, painting, drawing. We're made in the image and likeness of God. We have value because of that. God's given us value and he's given us these characteristics of himself that we can use to glorify him. I hope you enjoyed this and that this will be a good inspiration for you. I'll just hold these up one more time so you can see them. I don't want you to miss any content, so make sure you subscribe to my YouTube video, Homeschool Christian Mom, Elizabeth Estel, or homeschoolme.tube. That's my new name for that. You can see this one's coming out very well. And it may take a week or two weeks to get this project done, depending on how much time you spend. We usually block out two o'clock on Wednesdays for art class. So we all have it. And this one just is the lightest of drawings starting out. But that one's gonna come out very nicely. And then I'm also on Instagram as the Elizabeth Estel and in my homeschool group on Facebook, Homeschool Christian Mom. So I, I hope you're doing well with your homeschooling. Don't miss out on any content. Don't be discouraged. Contact me, message me. Uh, let's see if we can get you homeschooling happily together. And if you have any ideas for art projects, be sure to drop them in the comments. I'll do them in a future issue. Thank you. Bye-bye.